This next trick is called shotgunning a beer. Yeah, up, up. Today on the best ever food review show, we're gonna learn how to party like a Cambodian. I know how the tourists party, yeah. but I want to find out what the Cambodian people, the people chilling in the villages on the countryside, I want to know what they do for fun and what they're drinking. So this is the market we went to before. Yeah. Uh oh, they don't have it. Uh oh, there's a lot of conflict in this video because I'm trying to find some uh, Diet Coke. She's talking to the driver now. It sounds like he might know a Coke dealer. Do we need to get any snacks for drinking? Had to buy the eye and yeah, ice. Today is what I would call a cultural exchange, okay? Yeah. Um, except for it's it's more like a drinking culture exchange. Yeah. Which is going to be the most fun kind. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I was telling the, my, all the fans. All right, get a load of this place. So many kinds of snacks. We'll get some some candy for the kids. You got to keep the kids happy while we're busy being uh, absentee oh, parents. Yeah, you know, yeah. getting drunk. Oh, is this squid? Yes. I love some dried squid. What is this one? This one, uh, they make from fish. Fish? Yeah, like a hot dog, Cambodian hot dog. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, okay, let's get some, I guess, right? Yeah. $4. Yeah. Four dollars? Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. A lot of people don't know this, but most of the currency in Cambodia is uh, dollars. And then if it's less than a dollar, they give you the local currency. Mm. Akon. Akon. We're having a fun adventure. Yeah. Yeah, do you feel it? Yeah. I Are feel you it. excited? Yeah. Akon. <laughs> okay, so we've got soda, we've yeah. got beer, we've got ice, we've got snacks. The only thing missing is alcohol, which we're gonna go get now, right? Yeah. Hi. We are on the way to the house of the man who makes the uh, village booze, the village boozer guy. We can't just have me and him drinking. It would be awkward, right? Just two guys. So what we're gonna do, uh, she's on the phone right now. She's on the phone getting some other people from the village to come so it's not just two of us. This is quickly becoming a Cambodian party. Let's go. <laughs> we are recruiting drinkers. We're gonna go get one right now. I guarantee there's gonna be at least one foreigner who watches this video who's gonna say I'm exploiting Cambodian people by having them drink with me. Just whoever you are, don't, don't just don't comment. All right, we're having fun. Let's go. Hey dog, want a drink? Susadoi. I think she's saying that she's really looking forward to it. She can't drink with us because she has to take care of the kids. It's responsible, I guess. Hello, hello, what's your name? No, okay, can I have a high five? Boosh! Oh, good job. Boosh! Look at this shirt. It says, I don't do mornings. I feel ya. I feel ya. Who is this random guy in my village? And how do we get him out? Okay, we're gonna go. We're, um, we're gonna go. No, there's, there's no issue. I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> it might attack you. Do you drink? Uh, no, I cannot drink. I'm sick. <laughs> She's calling people on two different phones right now. <laughs> That's how dire the situation is. Hey, what about our tuk-tuk driver? The tuk-tuk driver can enjoy with us. Oh, he can drink with yeah. us. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That seems like a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We'll find people. Hey, let's uh, come over here and shoot this guy. And I'm going to yell that, hey, you should drink with us. Hey, you should drink with us. Come drink with us. <laughs> All right, so far he's saying it sounds like a pretty good idea. Ow. He's coming? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, that actually worked. Susadoi. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Well, I told him to come with us. What was he doing? Changing the cow. Changing the cow. The cows can change themselves. They're fine. <laughs> right, oh. Are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Oh my god, we got two more people. Now a lot of people think, Sonny, you don't have any friends. You have to drive through the countryside of Cambodia and pick up villagers to drink with. Um, yeah, that's right. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? <laughs> it got in my mouth. That's good. No, it's nice to meet you. 
Are you, these pigs not domesticated? I can't pet the pig? Yeah. Now, as far as I understand, we have made it to the guy uh, making and selling the alcohol, the wine, the Cambodian rice wine. Whoa. <laughs> this is a huge, huge batch of rice wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good stuff. How much do I need to go blind? What is the risk of drinking this? Uh, you can get very sick and your stomach get burned or something like that. And like throw up? Yeah. Okay. It, because it all strong. seems normal so far. So it needs exactly. four days in here to kind of turn into alcohol. Yeah. And then they get it hot. They put on some kind of a lid. They use this pipe to, to uh, steam it and filter it, bring it over to here. This is where it, I think it cools down. And then the alcohol comes through this tube here and drips into the container. For those of you at home who are gonna give this a try, uh, make your own giant rice distillery. Send me pictures, hashtag best ever food review show home uh, distillery project 2017. And uh, yeah, let me see how it looks, I'm curious. Should we drink? Let's drink. I wanna kind of appreciate the way people drink here. And so I wanna kind of do it your way and show you my way and it's all gonna be fun. So usually you, they would just drink it straight yeah, like this, drink. unmixed. Yeah. And are they taking shots or are they sipping it? They take shots. Shots. Yeah. Okay, so we should all take a shot. A chulmui. Chulmui. I gotta say, it doesn't taste great. It's got that unrefined country taste to it. Ooh, I still feel it. You know what made me feel good is that everybody else was dying. <laughs> not just me. That was great. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in the US. Um, I thought I was like introducing this whole new uh, American culture of drinking, but it turns out, um, you know, I'm not the first one to think of rum and coke. Chulmui? Now that is good. The best. Ah, Big best one? Number one. Number one. <laughs> this could be a Coca-Cola commercial. <laughs> now ah, now they're they, they feeling like, oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the way she hurt her finger, her daughter was driving a scooter, and they hit a cow. They hit a cow. And they took a spill on the road. Oh, that's brutal. You were holding on. Oh my god. Ba boom, ba boom is like accident. Uh oh, bam. But she's doing a lot better now because of alcohol. So I showed them the, the the alcohol with the Coke and ice. Of course, they've had that before, no big deal. This next trick is called shotgunning a beer in Cambodia. Okay, so we want to make a hole here, but not too big. You put your tongue here to stop it, and you put it up. You open the top, and then the beer falls into your body. <laughs> we got a big fan over here. Oh, I haven't done this for years. Do you want to try? One person should try it. Ah. Okay, see you on it. She'll try it? Yeah. Yeah, up, up. But don't, you have to have it up when you open it. Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a f***ing champion! Yes! That was amazing. Look, this is the kind of cultural experience I've been looking for, okay? We're, we're sharing ideas. We're sharing culture. It's beautiful. Here we go. And then now... Oh, it's working. Team effort, two people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us here today on the Best Ever Food and Alcohol <laughs> Review Show. Um, you know, today I've learned a lot. Uh, I learned how to get a party started, you know, in Cambodia. You, you mainly have to jump on a tuk-tuk and just drive by people and 
tell them to come drink with you. And, uh, you know, I learned about how to distill alcohol from rice, and they learned how to shotgun a beer. So I think there was a lot of rich cultural trade today. And I hope you also learned something. I rode my body up the mountain.